ETSU's Board of Trustees voted unanimously today to name the school's new football stadium in honor of one of its biggest supporters. Yeah, the school's holding a news conference just started at the stadium a moment ago. It, the stadium that will bear the name William B. Green Jr. Let's listen in. East Tennessee State University. He has transformed lives and now transformed our campus. Bill, thanks to you and Linda for raising everyone's sights and taking ETSU and this region to a higher level. Thank you, Bill Green. Thank you, Scott. Thank you for your leadership and support and shared vision to make today possible. So many people have come together to make today a reality, and so many things had to happen for us to be here today. Things don't just happen. It takes vision, pride, energy, leadership, and great philanthropy. Mr. Green, thank you. On behalf of all former football players that have ever put on a helmet, I want to tell you thank you from every one of those voices, thousands and thousands of young men that got educated here, that gave of their selves for this university to play this great game that we get to watch a little bit of tonight and to really get after it next Saturday on September 2nd. Thank you from all of us. This was a dream that for many had died years ago, but people like you have brought us back here today to something that we could have never dreamed of. So I say thank you from every Letterman for making our dreams come true. Brevity is key because That's Scott Carter, newly named athletic director. Bill Green's about to take the podium here. We're going to at least try to hang with this long enough to uh, see him. But uh, this is, he was referencing there uh, uh, the scrimmage they're going to have tonight. Carl, Carl Torbush, the coach, coming up here to speak as well. A lot of introductions, Sarah, as we get ready for the big uh, Yeah, everybody has something to say about, about Mr. Green. Uh, he's been doing so much for the university for years now. Yeah, he was an advocate of football at ETSU, uh, and that was even prior to when football went away. Mm -hmm. uh, he's well known on campus. If you drive up to the top of the hill above the campus, you see a pretty posh golf facility up exactly, there. Exactly, and that is named after him. Um, he's he's really been a supporter of the Bucks, and they've really done a lot of things with the contributions that he's made. Yeah, Scott Carter, hey, what a week for him as well, uh, as he just this week was named the new athletic director at ETSU. And I mentioned a scrimmage later on tonight. That is going to be mm -hmm. closed to the public. Uh, right. And it's going to be something that uh, we won't be able to allow, you know, they were not allow the public to see, but we're going to be able to um, I'll bring you coverage. Uh, that's uh, Dr. Dick Sander, the outgoing uh, athletic director at East Tennessee State University. They kind of kept this a big secret, didn't they? They really did. Uh, last minute, obviously, they had time to make the sign, and the vote today was, you know, just to, to make to, to make it official. A formality. Yeah, just a formality. Um, but obviously, everybody thinks highly of uh, Mr. Green, and and rightly so. You know, he's such a well-known figure in the area. We mm -hmm. went all into research mode this afternoon, and it was <laughs> reminded of the fact that at 24, this man who you're going to hear from, we're hoping here in a second, uh, became the first bank president, president in the state of Tennessee when, yeah. he, when he purchased Carter County Bank. In his mid-20s. Yeah, and that's been about four decades ago and has uh, really grown into, uh, in terms of banking in the state of Tennessee, truly one of the top dogs. That's right, and it's, it's all, everything is local as far as Bank of Tennessee goes, or it has been for for many years. And um, we're just waiting for him to come up to the podium so we can hear what he has to say as well. Bill Green raised in Kingsport, uh, went to school at Wake Forest, but when life brought him to the Tri-Cities, he kind of adopted the place and the school. And there's Bill Green. We get mm -hmm. a view of him there. Uh, wearing his Buccaneer baseball cap of tonight. Of course, <laughs> yeah, what else? And so we're, we're kind of holding to bring you coverage so you can hear a little bit of what he has to say as we move toward the big weekend ahead. And um, uh, so the news out of ETSU tonight, a name finally for that new stadium mm -hmm. that kind of just came out of uh, the, the earth there. If you've been driving <laughs> on campus and you saw it, you thought there's no way they're going to get that thing done for the September game. They worked hard. And, uh, and here we go, it's about to get complete. So mm -hmm. I think we're going to step away from this live coverage now and come back to it in a moment. Maybe we can bring you a highlight of what uh, Bill Green had to say. Mm -hmm. 